Hey there, Aries. This is going to be a reading for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And first, we'll, uh, this is a general reading, and this is um, first going to be messages from the guys and angels channel. Messages, see what we get for you guys. Okay, what's going on for Aries? We have the current time is not right for attempting this project. You'll be well advised to wait a little bit longer. So there's something you want to start that new. That's new right now. Maybe they're telling you to wait a little bit. Maybe it won't work right now because we are still in or just uh, going direct for the Mercury retrograde. So maybe you have to wait a little bit longer so it all goes smoothly. And then we have, you have planted the seeds. It's time to harvest your crop. The timing is right. Okay, for somebody it's not right. For someone it is right. It could be for different things, but I think you'll know. And we have someone wants to come clean about a situation. They're not sure how to approach you on this matter. They need more time to work on it. So you're going to be hearing from somebody about something. And then we have your struggles are about to end. Fate is guiding you in a new direction. So some of you guys are going to be going in a new direction because fate wants you to go that way. Okay. So now let's see what is happening. Oh, look what popped up right away. Then you get to shuffle. I'm going to put it down. Let's see, something, someone wants to balance things out, or maybe someone's going to offer you something to make things correct with you if it wasn't balanced in the past. Okay, I'm going to get another card on that, because that just popped up. Can I please have another card? Can I please have another card for what's going on in present situation, please? Okay. We have the King of Wands. You could be dealing with another Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. And then we have the King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So this is could be somebody at work. That's maybe it's someone's trying to balance things out at work. I almost feel like it could be a boss that maybe is trying to um, spread out the work evenly, or trying to make sure that more people get a chance to either get the overtime or something, something being balanced out like that. And then we have this card here. Someone speaking the truth, being very um, strict, maybe. Okay. Let's clarify this Six of Pentacles with this King of Wands. Ooh. Yeah, this has something to do with money. Long-term commitment. I feel like this whoever this king is here, they like try to make things right. This is like with this King of Swords too. It's like, want to make sure things are just balanced, speaking the truth. So that everybody could get a share of the wealth. This also could be a lot of money's coming in for you or a long term commitment and a job. You could be getting a job offer um, from someone that is more of a fair person than where you're currently at. At the bottom, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Wow. So this is, yeah, feeling secure here. This is a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. And someone's very nurturing, caring. That energy could be around you or that could be your energy at this time. Now, let's go to, let's see what's happening either in your challenges or something coming on in the past. What's, what are we dealing with here? What are we dealing with here, Aries? Ooh. So someone could have came to you real quickly in the past or surprised you or just showed up. This could be a Playboy, Playgirl. It could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could have been swift action, something that sort of took you by surprise. Ooh, and it could have been maybe even someone might have came in quick and proposed to you. What's the hierophant here? Taurus energy. This one wants to show what is it? Ooh, the Empress to here too. Someone might see you as the Empress and they want to um, get married here. They want a long term commitment. Wow, okay, let's clarify this Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here, please? We have, ooh, now we have the Empress underneath and the Emperor. Okay, I'm feeling like this person that's coming in real quick is the Emperor. Even though you are Aries, but I feel like this is their energy because I feel like when this would peaked out, I felt like this person felt like this was you. So I think you're like a power couple and this person is realizing your worth and realizing you're the Empress and they want to put you up on a pedestal. They do put you up on a pedestal and they want a new beginning where here. You have the Fool card here and this is Aries. Taurus. This is Taurus and Libra with the Empress. And then the full Aries and Aquarius. Wow. Okay. Now let's see what's coming in the future. Let's 
Ooh, pain. Ooh, the spy guy. Let's see. Oh, I did these things backwards. That's something. Okay, well. Okay, the three of swords came out. Let's clarify it with this deck. I'm doing it backwards, but that's okay. Hey. Ooh, this is someone that's coming in the future. Is someone that broke your heart in the past. And they've been watching you. They've been keeping an eye on you. They want a commitment too. Taurus energy. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But this person definitely coming back. They want to try to mend stuff. They might be knowing about this person here that's coming in for you. And this is someone different. Wow. Okay, so we're ready. Clarify that. And then long-term commitment. Okay, let me do this the right way this way now. Let's see what we have here. What's going on here? Ooh, so there's a painful ending, maybe with a Queen of Cups, a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This might be going on now with somebody. Let's clarify this. Ooh, apology. Okay, so you could have been dealing with a Queen of Cups in the past, a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, someone that's very loving, nurturing, very intuitive, and now... They might want to offer you because it's ending here they might want this might be a different person or someone's could be the same for some but they um they might be offering you an apology like we all have so have the page of wands you're going to get communication from someone here about an ending now it could be another cup could be a air um fire sign aries leo sagittarius but there is going to be some type of communication some kind of offer coming in here Definitely, and they could be younger than you too. Okay, and let's see what the outcome is. Potential outcome for Aries. What is the potential outcome? Ooh, happiness, Ten of Cups. Ooh, the Magician. You're manifesting something nice here. You have a couple of different people interested, you know. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Ooh, the devil. Hmm. Maybe someone's obsessing over this happiness they had with you in the past. Yeah, someone wants to make an offer here. They're not sure if you're going to take it. Okay, we're going to have to pull some words on this. What is the devil doing here with the Ten of Cups? What's the word? What's the word? And that's Capricorn energy. Let's see. It might be a Capricorn that sees you as a lot of happiness. That's what I'm feeling here. Okay, they're immature. We do have the pages. Immature lover. Caring. <laughs> they care but they're immature okay what about um this emperor with the knight of wands why do we have that here what's the emperor's knight of wands confess the truth they realize they need to confess the truth okay so that's what's going on with this emperor here and what about this page of cups with the ten of swords what's going on with them What's the word? What's the word? Freedom. Love. Ooh. Committed. Huh. So this person that you ended it with was in a commitment, I think. And now they're coming back to you because now they're free. That's the energy I'm feeling for this one. So take it as it resonates. Very tricky energy. You know, today is the, I'm pretty sure today is the day that Mercury turns direct. And these readings have been very difficult today. It's been a lot, very hard with the communication, trying to um, figure out which way things are going. But we do have the magician here manifest. And look what wants to pop out. Let's see. Justice. Someone wants to make something fair with you. And let's see here. And they're trying to get the strength to come forward. They're trying to manifest this. Okay, you know, we're going to have to get some more cards. Definitely. Need some more on this. I feel like I've got you guys up in the air a little bit. So let's see if we get anything else on this for Aries, please. Need some more information, please. What else can you tell us? What else can you tell us for Aries? Okay, we have... Let me move this out of the way. Ooh. Someone is really having a hard time here. 
I'm trying to figure out. I, I feel like the energy's in between this. I don't think there's two different people here, but I feel like the energy's right here. This could be one and the same here. That someone's worried about this ending here, and they, there's a lot of pain that they cause you, and they want to make it up to you. They definitely want to make it up to you, whoever this person is coming in with the offer. Okay, so someone is having a lot of anxiety, can't sleep at night, but spirit's coming in to clear this away. Oh, someone had to walk away. Someone might be leaving something and it's been causing them distress in order to come towards you. Or maybe you had to leave something. Someone had to leave a situation, uh, a relationship, a job, a home in order to come to the other one. Or this just was too much anguish at home they had to leave. Let's see what's going on. Ooh, justice. Yeah, they, someone had to leave in order to bring justice in in here this could be a libra too there was too much conflict too much worry too much anxiety and the person couldn't take it no more so they had to move on whether it's your energy or your person's energy but wanting to make things right and fair okay. wow two one someone has to make a decision here and they want to make sure they make the decision to have the happiness and nine cups and the ace of wands. A lot of passion, a lot of desire. But this card, this two of wands, to me, is someone looking forward, not back. This person is not looking in the past. They're looking ahead for the happiness here. Might even be starting a new job with this ace of wands. A new career. Something that they're passionate about that makes them really happy. And not thinking about the past. Because that's why I feel like the energy feels like it's not in the past. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, a lot of hidden emotions. The ending here. Ooh, someone has not expressed their emotions and something ended here. Now they want to. That's what I'm feeling now. This person that hurt you here. They're coming back quick. Um, they realize that they did not express themselves and they have to open up and that's what caused the ending. So now they're coming towards you quick. Could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, doesn't have to be, could be any sign. Let's do one more row. Ooh. Whoa. Okay. All majors. Someone wants to put a little more work into this. Wants to nurture this and make it grow, this relationship. There's something going to surprise you. This person is probably getting up to courage. Because I threw that the strength card before. And I feel like that person does need the courage. They're getting up to courage. They might surprise you and just show up. Because they know that you have to. This is a judgment. But they want to bring this back around. They love you. It could be dealing with Gemini. But they see you as soulmate connection. So there is a surprise coming here though with the tower. Someone's going to shock you or surprise you. Something's coming in. You know what? I want to pull some words on that. Let's pull words on these three. The tower with the judgment and with the lovers. Can you please give us more info on that? Okay. What's the word? What's the word? We have. Ooh. Money. Intruder. Closure. Wow. Wow. Did someone intrude in on your money, on your finances, and then there's closure, or they want closure? Okay, I don't know how to read this. I'm going to pull a couple more. It might be more confusing, or it might help. Please, guys, help me. What's the, what's the, what's the word? Past life drama. Honest. Ooh, here's a tower. Okay, so I think a past life drama caused this tower. To come back around. So this person I think you had in a past life. Because you definitely have, this is a past life card here. This person is coming back in. There's something to do with money though in closure. Um, this person, this intruder, I feel like. If you're. If you're with somebody else, they might intrude on this situation because they, they see that you're um, getting close to someone else. And they might be honest about some kind of money. They, they This is closure, but I almost, almost feel like it should be disclosure. 
I don't know. Or they want they want to be honest about some kind of money. I, I feel like this does belong together. Okay, it might this might resonate for you guys. It might not. It might resonate for one person, or I'll, maybe even if you want to move the words around, maybe I'm not getting it right, but that's the way I'm drawn to put it together. Let's see what signs we're dealing with, though. What signs do we have here for Aries? Whoop! Capricorn came flying out. Okay. Of course, we do have. Do we, we have a oh, yeah, we do have a devil card, Capricorn here. Capricorn, Scorpio. Okay. Cancer. Pisces. All the water signs are out. Cancer again. And Taurus. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Scorpio, a Cancer, a Pisces, another Cancer, or a Taurus. Or this could be placements in your chart, placements in their chart. Other people around involved somehow in this situation, in your situation. Other people you might meet. So um, take it as it resonates. Leave what doesn't. It might not all be for you. It might only be part of you. It might be nothing for you. But um, we'll catch you next time, hopefully. So Please let me know if this does resonate or if you want to leave a comment. I love to read them. Um, please give me a thumbs up if you like this reading. I appreciate all you like, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you so much.